in today's society that I've noticed. Number one is the asphalt company. You have to replace it every couple years when we have like Roman roadways that have been around for like centuries. Like, so you're telling me that a civilization with satellites doesn't have a more advanced alternative? Plus, they can't keep up on the potholes. And I'm, I'm buying new tires every couple months when it is, with brand new tires. And yeah, I know some of the big cities have like, uh, oh, if our roads pop your tires, you can get subsidies for that. I don't want to have to get subsidies or, or, or refunds or anything. I just want to drive. That brings me to the next thing. Why are our tires still filled with air when we can 3D print the ones that, 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 that don't have air? What? Why is that not mass produced? Oh, because of money and greed. It's time to eat these people. Also, why are we still using trees? I know it sounds kind of like hypocritical because I'm a carpenter, but like we can do everything with hemp, right? It's stronger, better in so many different ways. We're not destroying our rainforest doing it and it's a better alternative like across the board it's stupid plus all of the issues with going full electric which carbon emissions and co2 or whatever is actually not bad it's actually good for the plant life which is crazy That's a big con as well, but we've already resolved all of the issues with going full electric. There was a lab, I think, at Harvard. Actually, wait a second. Let me start over. So there's three main issues with going full electric. One, how do we keep the power grid charged? Two, um... Lithium mines aren't necessarily very humane to the environment because you, you live like a city-sized crater and unless we're willing to start mining the asteroid belt That's it, it's just not gonna work And three how do we move so much electricity? so number three was solved there was a superconductive metal that was created at a lab in Harvard, I think. I think it was Harvard. I don't know. And I don't remember what the metal's called, but that solved number one. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So, last year, China solved the issue of the lithium mines. They figured out that they can make batteries where the primary component instead of lithium is sodium. Salt. Salt. The most abundant, one of the most abundant resources on the planet and it takes them a full 24 hours, or maybe it was 48 hours, to convert, to convert a whole battery factory over from lithium to sodium. What? And then the last one, how to, how to um, keep the power grid charged and going and chipping away. Um, Japan solved that. You put a solar panel on every single home And then you back charge the power grid once your house is full. Okay, they're all solved. Let's go full electric. Let's stop being dumb, okay? And yes, I'm a carpenter, but I'm out here building decks that of that polycarbonate plastic stuff, you know, which is brings me to my next topic. Let's go environmentally friendly and we can just recycle all of the plastic, pull it out of the oceans and recycle it all. Like, I don't, I don't see any of the issues here, and none of this is really making sense to me. Jacob Long for president. Let's save our habitat. This is the only one we have right now. It's going to take lifetimes and generations before we can even start doing other stuff. I need to charge my batteries.
I wonder if Makita has sodium batteries yet. Because I do practice what I preach. All of my batteries are rechargeable. Oh, and by the way, the uh, Energizer batteries that you didn't think that that you that everybody throws away after one time of use, those are all actually rechargeable. My son figured that out. The five-year-old, he's like, why don't you just recharge the batteries? I'm like, you don't know what you're talking about. And then he threw them on the chargers and it worked. Like this whole planet is just covered in a facade of consume and throw away and fill the landfill. But there's so many other options, man. There's so many other options. And the fact that it's proven now that all of these trees <clears throat> can speak and communicate with us, it's, 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 it's very sad, to be honest. Thank you.